Today we are going to be doing a watercolor project with some clear wrap. Here's what you'll need. You'll obviously need some plastic food wrap and a few paint brushes, some watercolors, obviously, and water, clean water, and a nice sturdy paper. I'm gonna be using cardstock. You could also use watercolor paper or any paper that could hold like a few drops of water. Let's get into this. So first step is to choose the theme. Do you want warm colors or do you want cool colors or neutrals? I'm gonna be using, or metallics. I'm gonna be using the warm colors because I have wide choice of them. So we're gonna be using the wet on wet technique. So you need, so first step you need a flat brush or any, just a paintbrush and you're just gonna set the water down just like a very thin layer just make a little glossy don't overwork the paper and just do one section so that the whole paper doesn't dry and i'm gonna leave my water brush aside and get a new one and i'm gonna start off with the color red because it's very vibrant so make sure you activate it with lots of water and then i'm just gonna dab it down there and watch as it moves around and then i'm gonna add different types of colors and wet on wet is where you get a little bit more loose and the color just does everything for you so yeah that's why i really like wet on wet so i'm just gonna be doing that putting random colors i mean not random but the warm colors the colors that look good together so i wouldn't put blue and orange next together because then that would create brown and i don't really want brown i want it to look really nice so i'm just gonna put like a bunch of colors then let them flow together here's a few tips and tricks if you have a hard time so first tip is usually the first thing you'll notice when you're putting too much water is that your paper starts to fold and you wouldn't like that so what you would do is after some time where you, like your first section is a little bit dried and stuff you would take some masking tape and then just tape it over the border so that your paper doesn't move and go anywhere else and just remember when you're doing um wet on wet you got to be happy with what you have and the results look really nice at the end once they dry and just have fun let loose when your when your first water section dried you need some more water so what you would do is you would just get a few just load up your paintbrush with only clear water and then just paint away and then the cool part is is that the paint just pulls it and it lets it moves like really freely and yeah, that's what you have to do when your section dries off and you need a little bit more wet section because of course this is wet on wet. And make sure your paper is wet throughout this whole thing. this and now I'm ready for my clear wrap. So first make sure that your painting is all dry and it's nice and wet. I went for more of like a dabby dab because the watercolor wasn't happening so I just did it myself and I still like the way it's gonna look because after the clear wrap it's gonna be nice. Okay so First of all, we need the clear wrap. So get it to like the width of your paper and then cut it off like that. And then, I already did it too fast. And then you're gonna put that on your painting. This might seem scary, but it's not. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna crinkle it a little bit like this so that it has tubes of paint. And now you're gonna let this dry 
and it might, since I put a lot of water, it might take like, I don't know, two days because there's no like air happening unless I lift it up. So yeah, we just have to wait till it's gonna evaporate, which is approximately about two days overnight, like two nights. So yeah, once this dries, I'll show you the result. Okay, it's all done drying and I let it sit overnight and then I just peel it off the plastic and I have this really nice result. <clears throat> this kind of reminds me of fall because these are the fall colors. And this pattern that we made with our clear wrap kind of looks like the, if you zoom in on a leaf, it kind of looks like that. And this is a previous one that I made for Valentine's Day. And if you want if you want cow, I mean cauliflower effects, what you have to do, I didn't put the cauliflower effects on here because I didn't want to. I, what I did is I just, over here, I just put different amounts of water when I put the pigments next to each other and like more pigment, less water. And yeah, I just did like that. <clears throat> and yeah, there's that and this step is optional, it's the next step. I'm just gonna write shine bright over here. I'm gonna sketch it out with pencil first. So, yeah. Okay, I'm done sketching out my shine bright title. And now I'm gonna go over it with Sharpie. Make sure when you're sketching out your designs, you don't erase it too hard because sometimes the watercolor will come off with the graphite. And if you want, you could put this um, extra optional step with any color you want. I just got this permanent Sharpie because it was a wrap. Oh uh, yeah, there it is. Thanks for watching guys, bye.